Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the area of parallelograms. So we're going to do a couple problems together first on the first two pages. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so to find the area of a parallelogram, the formula is area equals it's the base times the, the height. Alright, so for this parallelogram, notice the base is 15. That's the bottom. Okay. And the height always makes a right angle with the base, okay? So um, notice this measurement is 10, all right? So the 12 we're not going to use. So the height is 10. So when I fill this in, area is going to be 15 times 10, which is 150. So area is going to be 150 square feet. And there it is. So again, the big thing about this is knowing the formula, but then it being able to identify the height. And again, the height goes straight up, okay? Notice this has an angle here, all right? So that is not the height of the parallelogram. The height goes straight up and makes that right angle with, with the base, all right? So let's look at another type of problem. If you turn the page. So in this problem, notice I give you the area and I give you the base, but now you wanna solve for the height. Well, to solve this, all you do is use the same formula, so area equals base times height, and then you plug in what you know, all right, so we know the area is 180, so it's going to be 180, it's going to equal, well, our base is 30, so 30 times our height, which is the unknown, okay, so I'm going to do times uh, h, so now we have 180 equals 30h, Just 30 times h is 30h. And now we use simple algebra to solve for h. So this means 30 times h. So the opposite of timesing is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 30. And 180 divided by 30 is 6. So that means the height of this parallelogram is 6 feet. And because it's only one dimension, notice it's just feet and not square feet or cubic feet. All right, so there's our answer. So now that you understand how to find the area of parallelograms, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. Uh, and when you're done, you, you can hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this practice problem. So here we have a parallelogram, and we know that the area is 240 square feet. And we know that the height is 8 feet, and we want to solve for the base. So again, we still use the same formula. So area equals base times height. And now we plug in what we know. So we know the area is 240, so 240. It's going to equal, well, the base is the unknown. So it's going to be B times the height, which is 8. So 240 is going to equal uh, 8B. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 8. And these will cancel out, and B is going to be 30 feet. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?